What's good? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Buy. We know about Apple's upcoming event this Monday, March the 21st, and we're expecting the 9.7 inch iPad Pro, the iPhone SE, and new Apple Watch bands. There's always room for surprises even if I don't expect any, but you can watch our live coverage on CNET. Our pre-show starts at 9 a.m. Pacific time and the keynote will start at 10 a.m. But a lot of you have asked for this, so guess what? This week, we're going to get you up to speed on everything we know about the iPhone 7 right now. All right, the new iPhone 7 is expected to be announced around its normal fall time frame, usually in September. We expect the next generation A10 processor in the new iPhone and the base model might ship with 2 gigs of RAM, while the 7 Plus could include 3 gigs of RAM. Design-wise, this is where we'll see some changes. Mac rumors first reported that they will stay relatively the same as the 6 and 6S, but with a slightly slimmer design by about a millimeter. The two biggest physical changes are rumored to be the removal of the horizontal antenna lines that you see on the back that would allow for a cleaner look to the backside of the phone. The other one, the rear camera will now be flush with the back surface thanks to a thinner 12 megapixel camera module, so no more wobble or camera nipple. We've also heard a lot of chatter about a dual lens camera system and Digitimes reported that Apple may be planning to release two different versions of the iPhone 7 Plus. One with a single lens camera like the current iPhones and another pro version with a dual lens camera system. Apple is already reportedly testing out different dual lens systems right now. Now a patent application submitted by Apple in January gives us insight into the proposed dual camera system consisting of one standard wide angle lens like the one found in current iPhones and a second telephoto lens capable of capturing zoomed in photos and video. The idea is really that both lenses could be used at the same time while capturing video, a still picture or even slow motion video, the user would be able to select one lens or the other to use and pick the image of their choice. Now a dual lens camera system could also offer an improvement in image quality and it's even possible it could be used for depth mapping or for taking 3D scans of real world items. Again, we don't know how much of this, if any, we'll see in the iPhone 7, but breaking up the core iPhone line into a 7, a 7 Plus, and a 7 Pro would be a surprise. All right, the biggest point of contention with the new iPhone, without a doubt, is the removal of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that has been a staple on pretty much every device that plays audio since the 1960s. The body of the iPhone 7 is expected to be a millimeter thinner, and that jives with this. OnLeaks images show a purported case for the iPhone 7 with a single lightning port connection at the bottom with two spaces for stereo speakers on the iPhone for the first time, but no headphone jack whatsoever. All signs point to it going away with the iPhone 7, but if you can't plug in your headphones and charge your phone at the same time, it could open the door to wireless charging, so we will see. Now, what could be one of Apple's earbud solutions then? It's a no-brainer, they'll have some sort of lightning to standard audio adapter, but 9to5Mac reports the Big A is also working on new earbuds that are completely wireless. They would be similar to the Motorola Hint or the Bragi Dosh wireless earbuds and include a carrying case that also charges the headphones. Apple has even registered the trademark AirPods already, which is probably what they'll end up calling them. Now, Apple has recently granted a patent for a hybrid headphone design that has the ability to use a corded solution, but the headphones can also magnetically detach and be used as a wireless option. These diagrams in the patent show the earbuds connected by a cord or a version where the earbuds themselves just pop off. The system would be able to detect when they are connected and then switch over to a wireless audio connection when they're detached. So there you go, everything we know about the iPhone 7 right now based on reports and rumors with changes to the design, a potential dual lens camera, no headphone jack, and a wireless earbud option. Plus, you can use this video to sound like a smart person to your friends and strangers, because it works for me. Now if you have a feature you really hope the iPhone 7 brings, and it could be anything, like you could tell me you wish it could feed your pet turtle, tweet me at Brian Tong or email us at theapplebyte at cnet.com and we will feature some of your crazy wacky ideas from the Apple Byte Nation. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.